Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, first and foremost, sorry about my voice. I do have um, a sore throat. I um, haven't been well for a couple of days, but um, I just wanted to get this out um, so it was done. Um, so let's just quickly look. Um, this was uploaded to my channel uh, the other day, um, and I'm going to try and show you the concept of how this was done. So basically we've just got a spinning planet, background, some optical flares, so on and so on. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So let's just come out of that. And firstly, um, we're going to create a, a new composition. Keep about 10 seconds long. Um, let's pop in 720p, it's absolutely fine. And then just click OK. Now, firstly, um, you're going to need to download a couple of things off the internet. Um, I'll just open this up in Photoshop. Um, this is basically just a um, planet texture um, that you'll need to download. There's so many of them. If you just if you just type in Earth Earth texture map, um, basically you see something like this, um, and you can basically uh, download download this or, or download any sort of other one um, that you want. So let me just come out of that. Um, Obviously, you, you, you're not limited, or well, you're not limited to what you can put. I mean, this is a, um, let's open this up. For some reason, I always open up in Photoshop, and I don't know why. This is a moon core, um, very simple uh, moon planet texture um, that you can actually use as well if you want to create a moon. So basically, you're not limited in what you do. So let's just jump straight back into After Effects. We've started our new composition, and for the last time, um, this is the last time you'll see me use um, Element um, uh, V1.6.2 because by the time this uh, video is um, been put out to you guys on YouTube, I will have the latest one, which is Element V2. So I'm going to go to Effects, Video Copilot, and open up Element 3D. We're going to go to our scene setup and we're going to come down to our primitives and we're going to find our sphere which is just here like that. it's just a simple sphere like so so basically what you're going to do is you're going to come down and just reset the materials so basically all you've got is a white canvas don't try and place your map um, onto the um, original because it'll be too shiny and it won't look right so we're just going to click on this we're going to come down and we're going to click on our load from file. My um, map of the earth is on my desktop. So I'm just going to click on that and just click, wait for that to load up. And just basically click on it. And it's as simple as that really to add your uh, uh, texture of the planet. So with that done, we're going to click OK. Um, and let that load into After Effects, like so. And then we're going to go to Layer new camera I'm going to keep it 35 mil and just click OK there's a slight shift as you can see and with that we're able to spin the planet around right so but I sort of don't like the way this planet spins around so I'm just going to jump into my group one setup and I'm going to create uh, a group null so I'm just click on that and what that will allow me to do is open up my group null and you know I've got more freedom to do what I want with the planet um, orientation so on and so on so when I'm animating um, it'd be a lot better for animating as well a lot smoother okay so let's just zoom out there and we're going to uh, get organized rename this planet Uh, when you're doing a comp like this, um, it's always it's always wise to sort of name um, your different elements of what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to jump back into my project and then I'm going to import my background. Um, and for this, I've got just a standard, um, you know, just a standard star background, like a Milky Way. You can use any one you want for this. Um, let's drop that down, and as you can see, we've got our background now obviously this is just to giving you guys a rough idea of how you would um, set this up then it's it's sort of down to taste 
you know how you want it to look so on and so on so I'm going to right click I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call that uh, optical flare and what we're just going to do is I'm going to make it a common size and we're going to use this optical flare to um, mask out our planet so I'm just going to drop that just below the planet like so and then I'm going to get my uh, sorry right click on it go to effects video copilot optical flares and then I'm going to go over original sorry over transparent I do apologize about that and then I'm just going to um, bump it up just a little bit like so and that's going to give us a nice little bit of um, a back, sort of like a black grand glare. Now what you can do is if you punch this brightness really up, like so, really, I mean really punch it up, and then you can sort of change the colour of that. I'm going to show you something here. Click OK. Um, what we can do is we can get our ellipse tool, and we're just going to mask around the edges like so and then I'm just going to get my cross and then it's basically just filling around with the ellipse tool let's just uh, make this a bit bigger like so um, let's just go to our transform and we're just going to play around with the size of it. So it's going to scale that up just a bit. Put that into a position like so. Maybe scale it down just a touch. So it just. Oh. So I'm trying to do this, and I'm really not well at the moment. Now you can you can play around with the the color settings on this. I'm just going to click on back on the optical flares. I'm going to click on F for feather and I'm just going to feather it out slightly let's just hide that and now we've got sort of like a, a little glow um, around the planet as you can see but that's sort of stuck to that so what we're going to do is I'm just going to get my optical flare and I'm going to link it to my group null so it attaches itself um, so it attaches itself to my planet core so from here we can sort of you know play around with the colors or you can drop um, if you've got VC color vibrance um, you can sort of drop that on there as well effects and you can go to VC color vibrance and you can select on it and then just play around with the, the color settings on that just to make it sort of like the color of your choice like so and maybe just feather it out just a little bit more more it's just to give you that glow effect really okay so now that's done you want to sort of um, you know use your background to you want your background to sort of match so I'm going to come up to effects I'm going to go to color correction and then I'm going to go down to wherever I can find it my um, where is it photo filter click on photo filter and I'm just going to click on custom get my dabber and I'm just going to dab where the blue and black is like that and then I'm just going to bring my density up just a bit like so and then I want to go to effects I want to go to color correction and I want to go to where is it curves I want to get my blue and I'm just going to punch my blue up just a bit like so give it a nice little sort of blue look like so and then we're going to do the same with our planet so I'm going to go to effects color correction curves I'm going to select my blue I'm just going to punch the blue up just slightly just slightly to give it that nice sort of blue planet -y sort of look and then guys it's entirely up to you how you want to animate you know what I mean with your cameras um, to get the glow um, in the background um, what you can do is you can just go to the planet 
go to effects, stylize, glow. And as you can see, we've got glow. And then it's entirely up to you guys how you want to, um, you know, set the glow up on the planet itself. So we're going to select this two on top. And then we're going to, so get a color dab, um, maybe bring it to a sort of yellow, click OK. And then you're going to basically play around with your with your intensity of your glow as well, so on and so on. So you can get the sort of look that there's, you know, people alive um, on the planet and uh, for the for the light and stuff like that. So that's basically it, guys. That is basically the physics um, behind how you would sort of sort of create this effect um, within After Effects. So obviously, <coughs> it's all down to you guys how you play around with it. You know how you sort of set it up. Um, basically, how you want it to look. So I'm going to link this parent this up to my camera as well. Um, so my camera movement uh, goes with my optical flare as well. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you found this um, entertaining. I hope this has helped. Um, it is a tweaking process. This um, tutorial. So basically, it's set it up how you see fit. But you're not limited because if you go back into your scene setup and you click on your material you can go to your load from file click let your let your texture load up these are quite high resolution textures so it take a bit of time and then click OK just go back into it load from file that's it then all of a sudden you've got yourself a nice moon surface as well click OK bang you've got your moon so it's unlimited you know you can make it into you can turn it into Mars you know you can have a Mars planet sort of anything you want so <coughs> um, I hope this tutorial has helped guys thanks for listening sorry about my quirky voice like I say I haven't been well it's all this going to fireworks displays and Christmas light switch ons when it's freezing cold outside um, but hey ho I still managed to sort of get this tutorial done for you guys so you can see basically how it's done. So thanks for listening guys and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao guys.